What's up, beautiful people? Today we're taking a close look at the open door policy, the Boxer Rebellion, and why the US was all up in China's business. First, remember, many of those who argued for US annexation of the Philippines pointed to the fact that the country was quite close to the rest of Asia, especially the lucrative trade market of China. The US hoped to increase their involvement in Asia, and China represented an untapped market for American goods and access to raw materials. Although, as you can see on the map, no country had claimed China as a colony, China at this time was pretty weak. How weak, you ask? It was so weak that China was known as the sick man of Asia. Countries such as Germany, Britain, France, Russia, and Japan had established spheres of influence in China. Can't touch this. A sphere of influence is a region in which a nation claimed exclusive economic privileges and rights to exploit. And all those different colors on the map represent different foreign powers who were exploiting China. This carving up of China was part of a broader pattern of European powers, and increasingly Japan, of exerting their influence on areas in Asia. Remember, this had been done already in Africa with the big scramble for Africa. As you can see in this map, Britain had long controlled India, France controlled Indochina, Spain used to control the Philippines, and so on. The growth of these spheres of influence worried American leaders. Remember, after the Spanish-American War, American influence in Asia slightly increased as the US acquired the Philippines and Guam. The fear was if foreign powers established control over parts of China, Can't touch this. like you can see happening right here, the US would be shut out of the economic opportunities that the region presented. In order to address these concerns, the US Secretary of State, John Hay, issued a series of statements known as the Open Door Notes. In the open door notes, Hay proposed that the various foreign nations share trading rights with the US and no one nation would monopolize the Chinese market. So instead of cutting up pieces of China for themselves or establishing a sphere of influence, no one nation would have exclusive economic rights over any part of China. Every nation should have access to the Chinese market. It should be an open door. Now this part is important. Technically, China was a free nation, but as we have seen, various European nations and Japan dominated most of China's economic growth and maintained tremendous influence in various Chinese cities and ports. And America's really worried, what if the same thing that happened in Africa, where all these different foreign powers start carving up territory, happens in Asia and the US is left out. Needless to say, resentment over foreigners exploiting China quickly developed. And the most famous group to oppose foreign influence in China were the Boxers. The Boxers were tired of their country, China, being exploited by the rest of the world, were resentful over the presence of Christian missionaries. They got the nickname the Boxers due to their reliance on martial arts. And this resentment spilled over into an open rebellion known as the Boxer Rebellion. During the rebellion, members of this secret society known as the Boxers killed foreigners, Christian missionaries, and even Chinese civilians who had converted to Christianity. The Boxer Rebellion caused widespread fear amongst foreigners and reflects the anger in China over foreign influence in the nation. During the rebellion, many foreigners fled to Beijing, hoping to escape getting killed. And you may notice on this map, it says something about the Eight Nation Alliance. Fun fact, most of the time, people getting murdered is bad for business. Hold up. So in August of 1900, troops from Germany, Japan, Russia, Britain, France, Italy, and Austria-Hungary roll up to Beijing to crush this rebellion. Hold up, that's only seven countries, and it's called the Eight Nation Alliance. I almost forgot, these foreign troops troops are joined by a few thousand American soldiers who were sent over from the nearby Philippines. Kill her. After about two months of fighting, the Boxer Rebellion was crushed by this international alliance. Thousands of people were killed. The spheres of influence were secured and China was forced to pay reparations to the various foreign powers. In this particular image, you could see British and Japanese soldiers attacking the Chinese troops. And in the United States, there was concern that after the defeat of the Boxer Rebellion, that European nations and Japan would seek to exert greater control on China. In response, John Hay issued a second series of open door notes, which called for equal and impartial trade with all parts of the Chinese empire. The main goal of this policy, the open door policy, was to ensure American businesses had access to trade with Chinese markets. 
and American involvement in stopping the Box Rebellion and issuing of the Open Door notes meant the U.S. was beginning to increase American influence in Asia. With all of this foreign influence in China, keep in mind China was not consulted about any of these policies creating a bunch of resentment amongst the Chinese population. And what is important about the situation in China and the U.S. declaration of the open door policy is what it shows about U.S. foreign policy, especially going into the 20th century. Many believed expansion of the U.S. economy dependent on the ability to export American goods to foreign markets. And the U.S. will increasingly demonstrate a willingness to intervene in a country to keep foreign markets open. If access to a region is shut off from the United States, this was considered to be a threat to U.S. interests. And while most foreign powers come to accept this idea of the open door policy in China, the closing of this market will be exactly what happens as Japan began to emerge as the dominant power in Asia. And the open door policy will be violated when Japan invades Manchuria in 1932. But that, my friends, is a story for another day and another video. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace.